In the last video I showed you how to use the rank tracker tool to see how good your keywords were doing on the search engines. In this video I want to show you how to use the keyword research tool to generate keyword ideas. In my case I want to generate keywords that are related to personal development. So the first step is to click on generate keywords. Uh, the program will generate a set of keywords for you that are related to personal development in this case. As you can see, there are a lot of keywords here, but I can restrict my search. For example, there are certain keywords here that are only one word long. For example, here you have coaching but uh, I know that ranking for this world would be very hard so I can limit my search to only words that have at least one two words so I can just go here and select two another thing that I want to do is uh, to exclude certain keywords for example, here you have PSI seminars, but I'm not interested in seminars, so I can add uh, a negative keyword here. And if I click on update, the program will hide those keywords for me. But let's say I'm fine with this and I want to, to see how much traffic there is for each of them. So I can click on Analyze Keywords and here I can see various things for each of them. The first thing I want to do here is to rank them from the daily search traffic. So I can click here and I can see that the keyword self-help is getting 32,000 visitors per day. This is actually a daily number of searches. And there are a lot of useful things here. For example, the second column here is the maximum potential daily clicks that one ranked site for this keyword term could potentially achieve. Um, this means that if you're ranking first, you can expect to get this number of visitors for this keyword. This is usually the 42% of this number. And you can see other things like the trend of a keyword. So you, it's probably useful because certain keywords were searched a lot in the past but are now searched less. Or it could also be the opposite as well. Let's see if there's some example of this. This one, for example, shows a negative trend, but I think it's not bad, it's just a short amount of time. It, this graph shows the last year. Anyway, the other columns here are also very important. For example, this column is called uh, the AdWords value. Uh, this is uh, the total value for what you can expect to get on a daily basis. Uh, this would be easy to understand if I could show our data. Let me see if I can find it. Because these numbers are, are very high. Okay, so here I have selected other options and one of them is the, an indicator of how much you would pay for each click on a given keyword. Uh, this means that if you want to insert an ad for self-help, you can expect uh, to, to pay $1.62 for each click and if you can get 
150 click on a day you would spend 254 dollars this is important to know because um, that means that uh, you can get a lot of money for that keyword because other people are are paying for it which is useful if you want to compare some keywords for example in this case you can see that self-help has more traffic than management training but the second keyword costs more to advertise so usually this means that it's better to rank for the second keyword even if you would get less traffic and there are many other options here but it's hard to get in detail for each of them because I honestly use only a few of them but if you're using AdWords this data is very useful and you can also check competition directly from here but I'm going to talk about that on the next video